Hello learners, I am Dr. Vishal Sooth, Teacher Educators. In the previous unit, we have studied about different projects started for the implementation of uh, different schemes to, uh, for achieving the target of universal elementary education throughout the nation. These different projects included UP Basic Education proje Project, Siksha Karmi Project and other district primary education program and many more. In the continuity of these projects, today we are going to discuss about another project which was started by the state of Bihar, that is Bihar Education Project. Learners, as you know, many programs have been launched throughout the nation to achieve the target of universal elementary education. Bihar Education Project is also one of the project that was launched by the state of Bihar to achieve the target of UEE in the state of Bihar. Today we are going to discuss about this project which is called as Bihar Education Project. So the main points of today's deliberations will be these. First we will discuss about Bihar Education Project how this project was launched, what was the conceptual base of this project. Then we will discuss about the organizational structure of Bihar Education Project Council, which is the main body to implement this project in the state of Bihar. Then we will discuss about the objectives of Bihar Educational Pro Education Project. Then the implementation mechanism of Bihar Education Project will be discussed. Then the provisions, the strategies which were made under Bihar Education Project will be discussed, will be deliberated. And in the last part of this presentation, we will discuss about the activities which were undertaken in Bihar Education Project to achieve the target of universal elementary education. So this will be the overall structure of today's uh, lesson on which we are going to discuss. Now, Bihar Education Project, it aimed at universal elementary education with emphasis on quality improvement of education in the state. This project was based on the achievements of Uttar Pradesh Basic Education Project. Now, when we talk of Uttar Pradesh Basic Education Project, Uttar Pradesh Basic Education Project was uh, launched in the state of Uttar Pradesh to achieve the target of basic elementary education or the universal elementary education. On the same lines, Bihar Education Project was formulated which was aimed to improve the quality of elementary education and to achieve the target of universal elementary education in the state of Bihar. This project, the Bihar Education Project was jointly launched by UNICEF, Government of India and Government of Bihar. This was a joint initiative of these three organizations, the international organization that is UNICEF, the second is Government of India and the third is State Government of Bihar. The project laid some special emphasis on the education of the deprived sections of the society such as scheduled castes, scheduled tribes and the women population. So the main emphasis in the state of Bihar was to improve the educational opportunities to improve the equality of educational opportunities in the state of Bihar, especially for the deprived sections of the society and the women. This was the first comprehensive externally funded education for all project initiated initially in the three districts of Bihar. These three districts were Ranchi, Rohtas and West Champaran in 1991 and 92. Then further this project was extended to four more districts in 92 and 93. Presently this project is being implemented throughout whole of the state in Bihar. So this project was the externally funded education for all project. Initially it was launched in three districts and then it was extended to four more districts and now it covers whole of the state of Bihar. Now. How this project was launched, how this project is administered in the state of Bihar, for this, in the state of Bihar, Bihar Education Project Council has been established, has been formulated. So, in order to implement this project in the state of Bihar, Bihar Education Project Council has been established. This Bihar Education Pro Project Council, the organizational structure of this Bihar Educational Project Council can be seen uh, in this, on the screen. This Bihar Educational Project Council is implemented, is having its state implementing society which is known as SIS. 
This state implementing society is headed by the general council. The general council is headed by the education minister of the state of Bihar. This general council is further subordinated by the executive committee headed by the development commissioner government of Bihar. This executive committee has a state law level office which is headed by the state project director of Bihar education project and this state level office has a mission task force to implement different intervention strategies uh, under Bihar education project. On the other hand, the second side, if you can see on the screen, there is district level office, DLO. The, the district level structures have also been formulated under this Bihar Education Project Council, which sees, which oversees, which supervises different activities, different interventions uh, of Bihar Education Project at the district level. This district level office is headed by the district magistrate and there is a district executive committee for implementation, for supervision and for, uh, uh, for uh, overseeing different affairs or elementary education. Then there is a block level office at the block level which is headed by BEO and there is a block resource center to implement, to execute different activities which are related to elementary education, which are related to uh, teaching learning process at the elementary stage. Then there is cluster resource center which are the smaller groups, the narrower groups of elementary uh, education or uh, narrower groups of small schools or uh, small number of schools. They are clubbed together and they form a cluster. So at the cluster level, cluster resource centers had been formulated to execute and to supervise different activities which are related to the elementary education and at the bottom level there are school education committees or which or the panchayat education committees which oversees different educational activities related to the elementary schools so this is the overall structure of Bihar Education Project Council, how different intervention strategies of Bihar Education Project were implemented in the state of Bihar. Now we are going to discuss about the objectives of Bihar Education Project. The first and the foremost objective of Bihar Education Project was the universalization of elementary education. As you can see on the screen, the universalization of elementary education can be seen in three aspects. These three aspects are the first one is the universal assess, the second is universal enrollment of all children and the third is universal achievement or the minimum level of learning to be attained by the children at elementary education stage. Now universal assess, by universal assess we mean the schooling facilities, the schooling facilities for elementary education should be available for all children irrespective of their gender, irrespective of their social category, irrespective of their religion. No child should be devoured of elementary education uh, because of any reason. So this is universal assess. Every child should have a reach to elementary education. The second, Universal enrollment of all children. All children should be enrolled in the elementary schools and no child should be left out or should be dropped out from the before completing the elementary education. This is the second aspect of the target of universal elementary education. The third is which is the quality aspect of elementary education that is universal achievement. Universal achievement means all ch children should attain minimum levels of learning. They should have competency in three R's. Those uh, three R's are reading, writing and arithmetic. arithmetic. So all children should have uh, attained minimum level of learning. This is the third aspect which is related to the quality of elementary education that is universal achievement. So this is the first and foremost objective of Bihar education project was the universal uh, elementary education. The other objectives of Bihar education project as you can see on the screen. The second, the orientation of the educational system so as to serve the objectives of equality for women and their empowerment. So the objective of Bihar education object, uh, project was to bring equality for women, 
to empower them and this was to be done through orienting the educational system bring bringing down the gender disparities to the lowest level and giving equal opportunities to all the girls to all the women so that they can participate in different activities related to their education so the education system has to framed in such a manner so that the objective of the equality for women and their empowerment could be achieved and this was the second objective of bihar education object uh, project third objective of bihar education project was making necessary interventions to provide equal educational opportunities to adults and children belonging to the lower castes ethnic communities and the poorest sections of the society so the objective of bihar education project was to bring down to the lower lowest level the any discrimination in the education on the basis of their caste category the community or the economical status of the children for this necessary interventions were to be made so that the uh, children belonging to the lower caste ethnic communities or the religions or the poorest sections of the society could be given could be provided with equal educational opportunities for education especially at the elementary level another objective of bihar education project was to increase enrollment capacity of the education and reduce drop out especially of girls and sc students so to increase the enrollment to uh, reach to the cent percent enrollment and to increase the enrollment capacity of the schools as well as to reduce the drop out especially of girls because it was seen in the state of bihar that the parents were not sending their children to girl children to the schools and those children who are belonging to the sc community or the lower caste they were also not being sent to the schools by their parents so in order to even in some cases uh, it was witnessed that the at the initial time when the children were sent to the schools after some time they were sent uh, they were uh, taken back by the parents and those uh, children were dropped out from the elementary schools due to uh, different reasons uh, like poverty or the work at the home or any uh, so called uh, any other such reason so in order to reduce that drop out in order to reduce that drop out among girls among sc students and increase the enrollment and retention of this the, of the bihar education project was initiated in the state of bihar now what was the implementation mechanism of bihar education project you, as you can see on the screen the bihar education project was having a decentralized management structure and there were organizations framed at the state level as well as at the district level there were organizations at the block level at the village level so as to improve the transparency in the administration so as to improve the coordination and the cooperation between different organization working at different levels uh, in the field of elementary education so one strategy was that different management structures and decentralization of the organizational structure was made in bihar education project second constitution of core group at district level for women's development the core group was Uh, framed at the district level for empowering women for bringing them into the mainstream for bringing awareness among the women community and a special core group was framed was constituted at the district level the other implementation strategy implementation mechanism in bihar education project was selection of classrooms on the basis of analysis of populations and enrollment problems that means the classrooms the schools were selected on the basis of the population concentration the demographic characteristics of the villages and the enrollment problems of the particular areas of the state of bihar so that particular intervention strategies could be implemented in those areas or in those villages so this was the implementation mechanism another implementation mechanism was the provision of village level micro plans that means the planning was done from the grassroots level and every stakeholder right from the grassroots level to the topmost level they were involved in 
planning different strategies related to the elementary education in the state of Bihar under this project. Then there was another mechanism that is the project supervision. The project supervision was carried out twice a year in conjunction with the supervision of Uttar Pradesh basic education project phase 1 and second district primary education project. So there was the provision of uh, supervision in Bihar education project and this supervision was carried out uh, in on the lines same as prescribed in Uttar Pradesh basic education project and the district primary education project. Now what strategies, what provisions were made under Bihar education project. You can see on the screen different provisions, different strategies were formulated under Bihar education project. Some of those major strategies, some of those major provisions are uh, you can see on the screen. First is the construction of about 11,000 primary and upper primary classrooms under Bihar education project. The second was a recruitment of about 16,000 additional teachers under this project. About 16,000 additional teachers were recruited under this Bihar educational project to remove the shortage of teachers at elementary level. Then there was the provision of uh, training of these recruited, these newly recruited teachers, newly appointed teachers, so that they can have an orientation about the elementary education system of the Bihar and appropriately transject the curriculum in the elementary schools. So there was the provision of training of these uh, teachers. Then there was provision of materials to the newly opened schools. The infrastructure was created in those schools. The teaching learning material was uh, provided to the schools. So these provisions were also made under Bihar education project. Then there was provision of participatory planning and implementation of different interventions. Participatory planning refers to involvement of every stakeholder that is the teachers, the parents, the local community members and the block level authorities so that they can come on a common platform, share their experiences, have a say in the decision making process and accordingly the plans formulated at the school level could be implemented appropriately. So the provision of participatory planning and implementation was there under Bihar education project. Then there was implementation of Mahila Samakhya component. Mahila Samakhya is a special program, educational program for equality of educational opportunities to the women. This provision was also made in Bihar educational, uh, education project to empower women to give them equal opportunities to be a part of the education process at the elementary level. So these were the provisions, these were the strategies which were formulated, which were made under Bihar education project. As you can see on the screen, there are four pictures and in these pictures you can see there was uh, in the first, the students are being provided the education with the help of the latest technologies computer. This provision was made under Bihar education project. Second picture, as you can see on the screen, this relates to Mahila Samakhya component providing equal opportunities to the women for education. Then the third picture, as you can see on the screen, this is the provision of training of the teacher under Bihar education project. And the fourth picture relates to that is recruitment of the teachers under Bihar education projects. So these were the provisions which were made under Bihar education project. So you have understood about the different provisions or the strategies which were adopted under Bihar education project. You have also seen the pictures which were related to the teacher training under Bihar education project the recruitment of the teachers, the Mahila Samakhya component, the empowerment of women or providing equal opportunities to the women for uh, educational upliftment. So now we are going to discuss about the activities which were undertaken in Bihar education project. As you can see on the screen that different activities have been undertaken in Bihar education project to achieve the target of universal elementary education. The first activity that you can see that constitution of village education committees and community involvement 
in the program implementation at the grassroots level. Under Bihar Education Project, there was provision of constitution of village education committees which are provided the responsibilities of overseeing different elementary education affairs like construction and repair of school buildings, overseeing the teaching learning process, uh, interacting with the teachers, improving the quality of elementary education in the schools. So all such type of responsibilities were given to the village education committees so that they can have a say in the process of decision making so that they can contribute towards uh, the educational upliftment or the school improvement for this village education committees were framed in the schools. Then there was provision of community involvement in the program of Bihar education project because if the community is involved to a larger extent there is uh, uh, there are the more chances that the target of universal elementary education, the target of universal enrollment, reducing the dropout could be achieved to a greater uh, level with uh, qualitative aspects. So this was, uh, these were the activities which were undertaken in Bihar education project. Second activity was enrollment drives and non-formal education through NGOs. In Bihar education project, the NGOs were involved, non-governmental uh, organizations were involved, the voluntary agencies were involved so as to improve the enrollment status, so as to improve the enrollment of the children in elementary schools and for this not only those children were involved in the regular schooling or the formal schooling but non-formal education measures were also taken to improve the enrollment and for this the NGOs were involved, the cooperation of voluntary organizations were, invo uh, were taken and the self-help groups at the village level, at the local, local level, they were involved in this, these enrollment drives and providing non-formal education to the children of the state of Bihar. Another activity which was undertaken under this Bihar education project was organization of state level workshop for training of key resource persons and primary teachers for minimum levels of learning. As you know that one of the major aspect of universal elementary education is that is universal achievement and that universal achievement is to attain minimum levels of learning by the children. In order to achieve these minimum levels of learning, there is a strong need to train the teachers especially the elementary school teachers so that they can effectively transject the curriculum in the classrooms and students can understand different concepts to the highest level and they can attain the minimum levels of learning. So there the different training programs were organized under Bihar education project to provide training to the teachers. Not only the teachers were provided training under Bihar education project but the key resource persons or the teacher educators who were involved in imparting training to the primary teachers were also oriented, were also provided training under Bihar education projects so that they can effectively train the teachers, so that they can effectively uh, orient the primary school teachers, the elementary school teachers for transacting the curriculum in an effective ma manner at the school level. So there was the provision of the training for both the key resource persons, the teacher educators as well as the primary school teachers so that the universal achievement, one of the aspect of universal elementary education could be achieved to the highest level. Other activities that is introduction of computerized monitoring system for education sector. There, is the, there was the provision of monitoring of different activities which were undertaken in Bihar education project and for monitoring these activities the computer, computer based technologies were used in Bihar education project. Then another activity which was undertaken in Bihar education project was Mahila Samakhya component. Mahila Samakhya it means equality of opportunities through education for women, for female population. So this component was also a part of Bihar education project. This Mahila Samakhya component is a special program 
which is presently run in 11 states around the nation where the female literacy rate is not up to the mark the where the female literacy rate is not of the satisfactory level so this component is also a part of um, this bihar education project Bih this to establish local accountability of the schools to play an active role in management of early childhood care and education and nfe centers support teachers and participate in village education committees so in all these activities it was ensured that the women should participate in all these activities and there should be their uh, full participation and say in all these activities under bihar education project then the uh, activities related to women empowerment and mobilization of greater national and international interest in the basic education were the other activities which were undertaken in Bihar education project. Different activities for uh, generating women awareness regarding education and other issues as well as mobilization of greater national and international interest to seek international cooperation, international grants for improving the status and quality of basic education in the state of Bihar were the activities undertaken in this project. Though these were the different activities which were undertaken in Bihar education project. Now you can see on the screen different four pictures what activities were undertaken under this project Bihar education project. The different sports activities were undertaken then Bihar uh, Shiksha Ka Adhikar Yatra. This is a trip related to education, right to education which were organized in Bihar. Then there was participatory planning. Uh, in the one picture you can see that how the community is involved in the process of participatory planning so that the decision making process could be, could be taken to the grassroots level. Now, so this was the all about Bihar education project. Now, what we have learned in this, what we have understood uh, in this uh, lesson today, we first studied, we first learned about how Bihar education project came into existence. What were the factors that, got, uh, that generated or the due to which this project, Bihar education project got immersed. Then we learned about the organizational uh, structure of Bihar education project which is run by Bihar education project council. On the one hand there is state implementing agency at the state level which is headed by the education minister and there is district level offices at the district level and that goes to the school level that was the organizational structure of Bihar Education Project Council. Then we uh, discussed about the objectives of Bihar Education Project. Then we discussed about the implementation mechanism. How, what implementation strategies and how those strategies were implemented uh, to achieve the target of universal elementary education as conceptualized in Bihar Education Project. Then we discussed about the provision, the strategies under Bihar Education Projects and in the last we discussed about the activities which were undertaken in Bihar Education Project and these activities relate, uh, related to sports activities, Mahila Samakhya, constitution of village education committees. So these activities were taken under Bihar Education Project to achieve the target of uh, universal elementary education in the state of Bihar. I hope that you all have studied uh, and learned and understood about all these aspects of Bihar Education Project. Thank you.